All aboard! India's old-school railroad system is about to get one hell of a boost as the country begins its high-speed rail project with a little help from the Japanese. India has begun construction on its first Japanese bullet train line, which will stretch 508 kilometers from the city of Amenabad to the financial center of Mumbai on the country's western coast. The line is expected to be finished by 2023 and will cut travel time between the two cities down to three hours from the current eight. The new train will be able to carry 750 passengers at an average speed of 250 kilometers per hour with a top speed of 320 kilometers per hour. India plans to invest $19 billion in the new line. Japan will fund over $14 billion of the project, with a 0.1% interest loan to be repaid over the next 50 years. Analysts say constructing the bullet train will give a boost to infrastructure development in India's rapidly developing western industrial region and help with economic growth. Chinese firm aims to build high-speed rail in the U.S. China Railway International USA and Express West have announced plans for a joint venture to build a high-speed railway between Las Vegas and Los Angeles. The 230-mile high-speed railway will connect Las Vegas, Victorville, Palmdale, and Los Angeles. The train would travel at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour, meaning passengers could travel from Las Vegas to Los Angeles in one hour and 20 minutes, compared to four hours by car. Express West, a venture set up by Las Vegas-based hotel and casino developer Marnell Companies, was unable to secure investment for the project from within the United States. It has formed a partnership with China Railway International USA, a consortium led by China Railway, which said the project had initial capital of 100 million US dollars. Russia's new high-speed railway will take just two days from Moscow to Beijing. Russia is reported to be building a new high-speed rail line that would take just 48 hours to travel from Moscow to Beijing, replacing the iconic Trans-Siberian Railway, according to reports. Moscow has reportedly awarded the contract for a new Moscow to Beijing high-speed rail line to Chinese company China Railway High Speed. The high-speed rail line looks set to replace the aging 9,000-plus kilometer Trans-Siberian Railway. The new, roughly 7,000 kilometer line will be around three times longer than the current longest existing high-speed railway. According to reports, the eight-day journey time of the old railway would be cut to just two days. Reports said that the new rail line has become a top priority for the two countries. The U.S. is set to get its first high-speed railway system in California. Officials are ready to break ground on the United States' first high-speed rail system, which will be constructed in California. The U.S.'s first high-speed railway will be built in California at a cost of 68 billion U.S. dollars. The first leg of the system will be constructed in Fresno, with the eventual goal of having the railway run from San Francisco to Los Angeles. The train will travel at 220 miles per hour, cutting the six-hour drive from northern to southern California in half. An official with the High Speed Rail Authority said that the new railway should help end gridlock traffic on crowded freeways and improve air quality in the area. However, Kathy Omachi from Chinatown Revitalization Incorporated told CBS News that the railway would ruin Fresno's Chinatown, saying the project would block streets and force buildings in the neighborhood to be torn down. Derailed train accelerated before it went off the tracks. Officials say that Amtrak train 188 accelerated significantly as it approached the Frankfurt Junction curve. Amtrak's Northeast Regional train 188 derailed Tuesday night in Philadelphia while en route from Washington, D.C. to New York, carrying 238 passengers and five crew members. A National Transportation Safety Board official says the train's forward-facing camera shows that 65 seconds before the crash, the train's speed was 70 miles per hour. 43 seconds before the crash, it was more than 80 miles per hour. 31 seconds before the crash, the train reached 90 miles per hour. And 16 seconds before the end of the recording, the train was traveling more than 100 miles per hour. The official said the Amtrak engineer slammed on the emergency brakes in the seconds before the train reached the bend in the track near Frankfurt Junction, slowing the locomotive from 106 miles per hour to 102. The train went off the tracks at a point where a 70 mile per hour stretch turns into a 50 mile per hour curve. All seven train cars derailed and the first car, which separated from the rest, was completely wrecked. 
It is unclear whether the engineer, identified as 32-year-old Brandon Bastien, had accelerated the train manually.